Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So a few weeks back we had a little sawmill accident and those of you who subscribe to my channel know about that. Um, my camera went through the sawdust auger, we lost all the footage, we, and it was a disaster, but we fixed the camera. Um, so, actually replaced it, but if you see the video we fixed it. Um, so this is what I was sawing. This is a piece of white oak. It is a new tongue for my water wagon that I'm building to go with the Baker's traction engine. This is the original tongue that was on the wagon when I got it, and I don't like it, um, especially since I'm making the wagon really pretty, and I'm gonna put a picture up of it here so you can see it. Um, just a beautiful piece, and it's gonna go well with my engine. Um, but we're gonna turn this chunk of white oak into our tongue. Um, got some modifications to do to it. Uh, there's some steel plates that go on it and get bolted on and miss it with boiled linseed oil. So it's going to look really nice. It gets a beautiful golden color when you do this. This is a very traditional wood treatment method um, and just makes a beautiful piece of wood, um, especially for something that's going to be a showpiece, really. So one thing with, with oak is you don't want to set it down on anything steel because it will, and it's already happened here, um, where I set it down on the wagon, there's some blue staining. I'll bring the camera in, show you guys that, and let you see this stuff better. But then uh, we'll get set up and uh, start uh, getting linseed oil on this, and it's going to soak in. We're going to be a lot of a lot of layers on there. So let's get started. So this staining right here, 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 that's blue stain. That is from iron. And actually, when you're sawing oak. Um, on the mill, if you see any of that blue like that, you stop immediately because that means there's probably a nail or something in the tree. Um, so that's, that's a good indicator that you've got a problem and you should stop sawing. Um, and this is the tongue that was on it, and I really don't like it. It looks like garbage. Just in here to show what it was. Um, but this is the piece we're going to treat and boil linseed oil and it's going to take a lot of coats but it's going to soak in most of the way and then then we'll get on the metal work that goes with this. Okay, so we got the first coat on. Um, now with, with this boiled linseed oil, um, a lot of things I read said to thin it with diesel fuel. I don't like the outcome. I don't like the way it, way it dries. I don't like anything about that. So I just do the straight linseed oil, brush it on thick, and you can see it soaks it right up. I mean, I watching it as I was going, and we could rotate it a few times here and maybe see spots that are already dry. Yeah, it's already dry here. I got it extra thick here, but that's there's dry spots. So, you know, you, you just gotta stay on it. It's gonna take several days to get this treated properly. So, um, with that, I'm gonna, um, I'll skip ahead and I'll just treat this thing, but we're gonna um, go ahead and start making the, doing the metal work that goes with this. Um, there's a couple plates that'll go back here for stiffeners, come up a ways on each side um, that the pin goes through, and it's already drilled for the pin, and then there's the clamp, or the, the tongue down here with the two holes for the pin. That'll get a, probably a lift handle put on it, and probably a, a hoop on the bottom to keep it up off the ground. So let's get started okay, on that. Okay, so stuff. these are the plates that go on either side of the tongue where it goes into the wagon, and then the pin goes through. Now they're longer. I already drilled the cross hole for the pin. Down here I'm going to drill two half inch holes on both of them. There's two of these plates. And then we will drill through the tongue and uh, bolt it together, clamp it there for a little more strength. So let's get these drilled. Okay, 
Okay, so this is just the first coat of linseed oil, and it's not soaked all the way through, but it is soaking in, um, and it's looking really good. It's coming out pretty. And here is my piece that'll go on. It's lined up with the hole that's already drilled, and it goes on one on either side. And then I drill through here, and I'll use a threaded rod and uh, square nuts for so it looks right. So there'll be a square nut on each side to clamp that together. Um, and that'll give me the rigidity out here, or back here, some strength, and then it won't pull out of the wood when you're pulling hard. And then the other end will do something similar where a piece on top and bottom and, and uh, make that work. So I'm going to soak this up with another coat right now, and uh, we'll get started on making the next pieces. So this is where it gets pretty cool. That first coat went on good, but it was really wet for quite a while. And after a couple days, it took and soaked that right in. Now every coat after that, as you brush it on, you can see the spots that are really dry because it just draws it right in. And you got to keep going over it and over it. And this thing will take a lot of linseed oil. It'll soak in 100%. Um, I, the beams on the water wagon have uh, their 10 foot beams, four by eight, between the two of them, they've got three gallons of boiled linseed oil in them, so they are preserved from the inside out. They are soaked through. I mean, they're heavy, they're good, solid, so that wagon's going to last me a long time, and it's stored inside, so I'm not too worried. But, yeah, this, this thing is going to soak up nicely, and this should last, last as long as the rest of the wagon. So let's get going on the rest of it. So I'm sure you were all wondering what all that footage was about, and what we were doing was building the tongue part. So this, these two flat bars here slide over the wooden tongue, and then bolts through and gets clamped on there. And this is where we hitched the tractor. That piece I made here, this underneath, that's for setting it on the ground, for resting it, and a lift handle. So pretty, pretty nice setup there. And then with this piece coming back as far as it does, it overlaps our side braces so that if there is any weakness, any place that's going to break, it will um, kind of guarantee against that. So it'll, it's a safeguard. Um, you know, you got to remember I'm hauling 300 gallons of water in that water wagon plus whatever wood and whatnot on there, plus the, the accessories, um, the wagon itself, and up to two people because that wagon's got the, the buckboard seat on it. So 
I want it to be as safe and, and strong as possible. So that's why we kind of over Okay, so it. all of our pieces are made. Our flat bar, reinforcing bar for the, the sides, and then our tongue piece here, um, all made, painted up, ready to go. Now we got to drill through, and I'll use uh, threaded rods, some half inch B7, and I've got square nuts, so it looks correct, or period correct, so we'll drill through here, threaded rod, and then the same thing for the tongue that goes on this way and threaded rod, and it actually will interlock back here. So, um, should work well. So let's get set up and uh, start drilling. Okay, so we got them drilled, drilled through. Um, thing with this, this white oak treated with the boiled linseed oil is it gets very dense um, and hard to drill when you, when you soak that much linseed oil into it. I soaked probably a couple quarts into this thing already. Um, so it's well preserved, well treated. Um, it should last my lifetime. Um, and just once in a while it needs another coat, no big deal. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get the tongue back on there. We'll slide the bolts, the threaded rod through and uh, put our square nuts on and, and uh, we'll be done with it. So let's get that done. Okay guys, here in the steam engine shed and camper shed and boat shed and whatever else I keep in here, here is our water wagon that we built. And it's kind of stuck in here right now. I can't get it out to, to really show it in the daylight. But uh, there's the tongue we just made. Right there. All installed, looking good. Now this wagon, I've never seen another one like it. I built it more like a steam locomotive tender. But it's also more like a farm wagon with the buckboard seat up above. And uh, so here is where we store the firewood or coal or whatever up in here. The wagon gear itself is a McCormick Deering steel gear. Um, and the, all the oak, the white oak on here, is sawn on off of our own sawmill with trees I harvested from my parents' property. And the tank is a 300 gallon round fuel barrel that uh, my, uh, it was at my grandparents' farm for years and we, uh, they got rid of it, well brought, and gave it to me and I, it was pitted on the bottom so I flipped it over because um, the top was good and turned the top into the bottom and then did some modifications to create this hatch, this manhole. And uh, believe it or not, I can get my fat butt in there. This is a hand water pump. I don't know who made it, and there is no name on it. Um, I got from a friend, uh, uh, another member from Hungry Hollow um, Steam and Gas Engine Club. Um, got it from him and restored it up for the wagon. All the plumbing needs to be done yet, but, uh, but yeah, there it is. That is our steam engine water wagon to go with our AD Baker steam traction engine. So there you have it. There is a water wagon that I built 
specifically to go with my AD Baker steam traction engine that you see here. Um, I built this my own design in, all in my head, um, just the way I wanted it um, for the my engine and, and uh, should work out really well for us. Um, looks nice, came out nice, and it's actually a nice ride up here. So um, with that, we're gonna end here. Um, again, I wish I could have shown the sawing of the, of the tongue, but you know, that was a mistake I learned from. Um, we won't be doing that again. And uh, with that, check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us, share our content, see what's next. All kinds of fun stuff on this channel, from steam engines to manual machine shop to sawmill, tractors, um, some railroad stuff. All kinds of fun stuff. So stay with us, share our content, help us grow. And until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.